Welcome to Tony Talks. Welcome to Tony Talks. Welcome How's everybody doing today? This is Antonio Moore coming to you from Tony Talks. I wanted to do a brief video on this Meek Mill issue with the Cosmo Hotel and give y'all my opinion on it and how it fits into a larger context of black politics. So, as I understand it, Meek Mill tried to go to uh, the Cosmo this weekend and they wouldn't even let him in the hotel, let alone even out of his car and, and said that he'd be trespassing if he got out of his car and it comes down from management, um, not just the security right outside. Uh, Meek Mill's accusation is that they have a list of black rappers and they're basically saying that they don't want those rappers on their property. All the details will come out in the coming weeks. but. I think if we just accept it on his face, it's saying a lot about what they think about black patrons and where this is going, everything that me, myself, Yvette Carnell, Breaking Brown, Sandy Darity, um, economists uh, have been talking about in terms of how, we, how greater society, how white capital views black patrons. There's a direct consequence of black families largely being wealthless, particularly working age black families. I think for a lot of us, because everybody we know that's working age largely has little to no wealth, we don't understand that there are a sum of white folks that are our same age, that are our cohorts, particularly if you went to college, that have hundreds of thousands of dollars and access to millions through their, their parents. And I think what we don't see is that these businesses are looking to have those people in their business and not us. After building this country, due to a large fact of wealth uh, theft and, and slavery, we've been shut out of America. We're allowed citizenship. They won't put up a whites only sign. But what they'll do instead is just basically do these little moves where we're saying we don't want black folks here. If, uh, if, if what Meek Mill is accusing this hotel of having is a list that doesn't allow black entertainers into their facility, this is awful. I think we got to start understanding what I'm saying when I say that we're a wealthless group as a working age set of black folks. Again, we know in LA, middle black family worth $200 liquid. In Miami, it's worth $11 liquid. In Boston, it's $8 liquid. This is all according to the Federal Reserve numbers that were pulled by Darity, Dark, Hamilton, um, and the Color of Wealth reports, all first time ever, all across this, the nation. Nationally, we know black family only has $1,700. That's not liquid money um, when you take out depreciating assets. Liquid money is largely near zero. So what does this mean? This means that as you start to look, these black entertainers are dealing with the consequence of looking like and bringing patrons that don't have wealth into these facilities. You know, I don't think it's a far leap that these businesses have made a, a, a choice to not only target Meek Mill, but target other black patrons as well. We don't know how many countless black men, black women, have been uh, not allowed into the facility as well over time. And, and in a similar sense, they find some kind of way. They change no hat rule, no uh, change the hairstyle. We don't allow these kind of tennis shoes. And I, and, and I feel like if we don't get real about this moment, and, and, and this is part of the greater discussion about a black agenda and reparations that myself and Yvette Car Carnell are spearheading, if we don't get real about this moment and what's being said to us and about us and the denial that's happening of our, of our privilege, not just our basic rights, our privilege that comes from our, our ancestors, our families building this country, unlike no one else, as slave labor. I think that what ends up happening is that we get shut out going forward. I mean, countless numbers of us have no retirement, no savings, no, and, and many don't even have medical coverage and we consider it to be grinding or hustling or anything else. This is a wake up call for so many. I, I really want you guys to start seeing these flashpoints for more than what they just are on their face. It's not, you know, if it comes out that there's more to the story, we can't presume that. But I just want to read to you what I have about the story so that we can all be on the same page. Meek Mill threatened with arrest at Vegas Cosmo Hotel claims racism. TMZ just obtained a demand letter written by Meek's lawyer Joe Tacopina to the Cosmo. Uh, Tacopina writes, we have learned that the Cosmo maintains a list of African American recording artists who should be denied access for no other reason than their uh, culture and skin color. Such, such course of conduct constitutes discrimination per se in violation of state and federal law. The letter goes on, we urge you to prompt, promptly issue an apology to Mr. Williams speaking of Meek, Meek Mill and grant him immediate access in the event you fail to heed this one and only warning we intend to pursue all legal recourse against you. 
Meek Mill, and this is the the story that came out before this, is Meek Mill was just told to get the hell away from the Cosmo Hotel and Casino in Vegas, and that if he didn't leave, he'd be arrested and locked up. The Philly rapper and two members of his uh, security rolled up to the Cosmo at around 3.30 Pacific. Again, this isn't late at, at night or anything of the sort. This is midday. When they were stopped by security, you see in this video, security was not about to let Meek inside the hotel. Our sources say Meek asked the guard why he couldn't come in, saying he didn't do anything untoward uh, in the past um, with, the, with regard to the hotel. He had only been there once before with Nicki Minaj and Jay-Z at an event five years ago. Security made it clear if Meek got out of the car, he'd be arrested. Meek was there to see DJ Mustard. So, if they're doing this to black entertainers, you can only imagine what's happening to black folk. And I'm not here in, in, in large part to advocate for black entertainers to get privileged. What I'm saying is this is a flashpoint. And I'm not necessarily saying that because of this we need to stand up. I'm saying because of the whole dynamic of the lack of wealth and the wealth concentration. Again, I said it to you a, a number of times. We only have 2.6% of the wealth. That 2.6 is, is among 20 million families. Understand that 10% of our families have 75% of the 2.6%. Largely boomer, boomers that came in with the retiree money. So, and came in during a better time. We don't have wealth. I think black folks need to get aware, get honest, and wake up. I'm, I'm saying this in a short video just so you guys can take this, get out, have a dialogue, have a conversation, learn the wealth data. We gotta understand that this thing is picking up. I'm gonna show you a short video so you can understand the wealth data. This Meek Mill thing may be a flashpoint to more that's coming. Go to tonetalks.org to subscribe and donate. Thank you. Tone Talks brings to you the difference between black wealth and white wealth explained in less than two minutes. In America, we think that we understand race, wealth, and how the two intertwine. We believe in a sharing of wealth among the races that largely does not exist. The truth is, by the data, there are really hardly any blacks that are millionaires in the United States, and whites largely own almost all of the personal wealth in the country. According to Demos.org, White America owns 90% of the national wealth, with the top 50% of white families holding 88% of all of America's personal wealth in their bank accounts. Despite having billionaire Oprah Winfrey, of the 14 million black families, less than a few hundred thousand of these households are worth more than a million dollars, and that number is shrinking. While at the same time, over eight and a half million white families are worth more than a million dollars. Adding to this, Almost all of the 540 American billionaires are white as well. In fact, according to a report by Credit Suisse, to be in the top 5% of black families, you only need to be worth $356,000, including your house. All while just the top few hundred white American families are worth more than all of black America combined. Subscribe to learn more at tonetalks.org.